when you go to a vendor's table and you pick up something, I'll barter. Do it. Say it's 25 bucks. Give you 15 for it. Oh, I can't do 15 Well, do you want to put it back in your trailer or in your truck and bring it back to the shop again, or do you want to just sell it to me? All right, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so do that. Yep, because right. guarantee they want, they'd rather have cash in their pocket than have to repack that damn thing again that they've probably lugged to God knows how many cons. So there you go. Last day of the con is when you get the deals. First day of the con is where you find the cool stuff that might be rare, but last day if you're a patient shopper and you want to get good deals, mm -hmm. go about 3 o'clock, between 3 and 4 o'clock tomorrow at the Niagara Falls Comic Con, <laughs> and you will probably come out with twice as much stuff as you planned on. So there we go. A lot of great celebrity guests and, uh, of course, uh, video game tournaments and, of course, as always, great cosplayers as well. So uh, some of my friends will be down there, and I'll be covering them as well. Uh, with my camera, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Fifth year in a row, I, I can't wait, and got to got to check out the real life Peter Griffin. That's hilarious. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, he even talks like him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so also, Bill Diamond Productions. I'm looking forward to that because yeah. he's got props from Henson, Jim That's Henson cool. from Dark Crystal to Labyrinth to. Uh, everything from Fraggle Rock to Little Shop of Horrors, anything that uh, might have dabbled. And, of course, uh, uh, the cop Batcopter is going to be there. And Optimus Prime. He's such a great guy. He's been oh, he's, he's been to London plenty of times. He's and amazing. Such a good uh, – it's almost like he's a, an honorary Londoner now. He's been here so many times. That's true. And it's cool that he's, uh, he's going to be able to display his uh, replica almost to the T. Yep. Of the Optimus Prime truck from, uh, I guess it's from the last movie and this movie. I think it, uh, they still continue to use that design for last night. Uh, the Monsters coach it will be there as well. And so will Eddie Munster <laughs> himself. Yeah, because Butch I, Patrick. Yes, uh, Butch Patrick will be there with that. And uh, so, yeah, and a bunch of cosplayers. And if you uh, really like Mean Gene Okerlund, then you can have a beer with him. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. Yes. And That's then, of something. course, uh, yeah, Nintendo Classic Tournaments. Um, I'm not sure if the arcade, I guess the arcade's not back this year. Kind of a bummer. Uh, maybe it is, and I just don't see it, but uh, they did have a retro arcade the last couple of years. And, um, yeah, so Wonder Woman cosplay meetup. That I think that's how they're going to do the ribbon cutting on Friday. They're going to have, like, as probably, I think they want to set a world record for as many Wonder Woman cosplayers in one space at the same time. So that's the uh, so yeah that is yeah. the London or I almost said the London Comic Con but that's a whole that's, that's a good segue I know I know oh yes <laughs> that is coming up uh, but we're gonna take a quick break and we got a special announcement uh, we're gonna continue talking about cons and we'll definitely switch it to local when we come back and talk about the London Comic Con and uh, some cool news that has to do with Tammy Zombie Bait Heisel <laughs> when we come back right here on Pop Culture on News Talk twelve ninety. Welcome back to Pop Culture. <laughs> uh, this song reminds me, I don't know if anybody ever remembers the show Fort, Fort Boyard. No? Okay. It takes place on a, off the coast of France. There's uh, a jail that's in the middle of the sea that Napoleon built. And they have a game show that's played there now. And it sounds a lot like the theme song to Fort Boyard. <laughs> Gonna send a link of that intro to the show that I'm talking about right now because everybody's scratching their heads. Check our Facebook fan page right now. I just posted it. So, yeah. Anyway, that threw me <laughs> off as soon as I started playing. Like, this sounds like Fort Boyard. But no, it's Golden Axe for your Sega Genesis Entertainment System. Grab one now in your stores today. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> Good luck. Well, probably. <laughs> Some of the retro video game yeah, shops probably so. are selling the originals. But, uh, yeah, no, those are probably pricey. All right. Let's continue talking about what we love. And that is... Conversation. Let's kick it local, shall we? Let's talk about the London Comic Con, my favorite Comic Con, which, it was, as I always say, last year when we wrapped up our show or a year end show, that was my favorite Comic Con of the year. So I'm hoping it is again. But you, Tammy, yes. you have uh, an official title now at the con. Yeah. Now, 
not just going to be there like you usually are doing your thing. And you've got uh, you've got some official <laughs> business, my dear. I do. What are you going to be doing? Well, Fanatics is the official media of London Comic Con this year. So we are very excited to be an even bigger part. I mean, I always do some of the Q&As, which is great. Um, I love doing that. And uh, But this year, Fanatics is going to be all over the place. We're going to have more shooters, and we're just going to shoot so much video and, and Q&As and everything that goes on there. So um, still, go to it, because it's it's better if you're there. I don't want oh, to yeah, say no, no, stay no. home and watch my video. but um, That's for always it. to reminisce. Exactly. That's what that's for. Because it's not like you're going to have it edited, no. you know, a full <laughs> thing each night for no. each one. No. And we'll live stream a little bit yeah. from there, but um, certainly not the Q&As and that sort of thing, because you have to be there. Yes, really exactly. That's part there. of it is, is yeah, because a Q&A. The whole point is to try to get your question exactly. answered. Exactly, and I do that. I'm always you can't do that someone. on live stream. You can't be like, "Excuse me, I've got no. uh, a Joe Blow <laughs> on the Facebook feed right now." Yeah. yeah, that doesn't work. That dog don't hunt. Nope. So congratulations Thank on uh, you. on doing that. That uh, and being appointed officially the uh, the media. Uh, guru of the, <laughs> the media uh, guru. I don't know. Yeah. I guess sure. I, I don't know. The official <laughs> media. Am I reaching? I, know, I, was, I don't know. I don't know. I kept it sounded saying, good. Like, what do I call sounded myself? Sounded good to what me. What is it? What is it? <laughs> it just means that we'll be there a lot. Yes. I mean, we're there anyhow. We we always have a table. They've been very good to us, and we're always um, very grateful. Yes, the guys are great at uh, really at London Comic Con, and uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. yeah, Andrew and, and Jake are the the main. I guess you would say the yeah, head those honchos two and there. Kimberly and uh, yeah, there's just it's uh, there's a whole lot of uh, a yeah, lot of people a lot of people that have to put that together, and it's uh, quite the they got it down to an art now. I'd they say do. the last two years there. Have been, uh, f I would say to me, I'm sure there was lots of craziness. Uh, Jake told me a little bit about it behind the scenes. <laughs> as long as you don't um, hear it when you're there, it's just it, perfect. And that's the thing. Yeah. And I said that to him. I said, I wouldn't have even known. It's amazing. It was like a well oiled machine when I was there. Yep. So that's good. Uh, and I'm hoping again this year, it's uh, from what the past couple of years have been, is nothing but uh, pleasing. It just to keeps me. getting better. Yeah, it does. So here we go. London Comic Con is happening this year, 2017. Yes. So October 13th to the 15th. It just seems so far away. Yes. and it. But you know what? Funny but thing is not. it's going to creep up before you know it. And, uh, of course, uh, yeah, a lot there. They have a lot of the guests uh, listed and more to come. Mm -hmm. So definitely check out. Uh, we post all their stuff. So if uh, it's just londoncomiccon.ca. Yep. Is uh, is how you'll find them, and of course Facebook, uh, like them, and all that stuff. Follow them, you'll get all your uh, updates on who is coming, because more to be announced. So that's cool. All right, and of course Pop Culture will be there too. So we'll mm -hmm. be there, wandering around, and I'll be buying stuff I shouldn't be buying. I Lego. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 yep. New addiction. Yep. yep. Oh, man. Expensive. Expensive addiction. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wait every year and just hope that somebody gets me Lego for my birthday and that. Christmas. Yeah. 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 I want the Death Star. It's 2000 No. $2,000? Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, uh. they're expensive. But, uh, okay, we're going to uh, talk about a little bit of the TV, a little bit of the boob tube. Tube talk. Not a heck of a lot to talk about, but enough to talk about it. Because it's that time of year where things are done, winding down, and you got your summer replacement programs, which are a lot of forgettable, some, you know, like they're not cutting edge TV, America's Got Talent, American Ninja. <laughs> warrior uh those kind of you know filler summer shows big brother and those kinda, yeah big yeah. brother they're out there they're starting so but if you're into the you know the serious tv not serious but like the actual episodic tv that's out there it's pretty much winding down and neil uh you were saying that you uh watched another episode of gotham yeah gotham is not quite done yet uh, and it was a very, very, very good episode. Lots of action on this one. Uh, the return of a character we didn't think we were going to see again. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> a lot of people don't stay dead on Gotham. Uh, and uh, Alfred really kicked some butt. I, I, was, I was really happy with what they did with, uh, with Alfred there. Um, but I'm not going to spoil it too much. But uh, I will say that, uh, you know, storyline is starting to kind of get more and more and more interesting. So back into that show. So 
Gotham, which is the only CW show I think that's going right now. Uh, pretty sure the other ones have all wrapped up. So check out Gotham if you haven't yet. I mean, it's getting better. And also, uh, if you're a fan of the TV show Sense8 that's on Netflix, it's canceled. So stop mm. liking it. <laughs> <laughs> Never watched it. Not yet. Anyway. <laughs> so if you liked it, stop it because you're just going to hurt yourself. Um, also, Anim- I, was at An- I don't even know what I was going to say, but it was supposed to be Animaniacs. It's coming Animaniacs. back. It is apparently coming back, and I think that's great because it was one of those shows that uh, it was on back in the day, but I didn't appreciate it as much as I probably should have. Oh, so good. Yeah. Very funny. It's something that I've, I've appreciated later on in life, a couple cartoons like that. Hello, nurse. <laughs> yes, and just the burping thing with uh. Yakko doing the, I think it was, or it was a Wacko. It was Wacko that was doing the burping. Yes. That was probably the best thing <laughs> I ever seen. I remember, oh, oh my God, that was great. Uh, so that is coming back in some form or another. I don't know if it's going to be on Netflix, if it's going to be on the WB, or is that even a station anymore? <laughs> the WB <laughs> with the frog that comes out dancing. Frog, yeah. What year is it, 97? Oh. Um, anyway, yeah, so it'll be coming out sometime, somewhere, but at least it's coming out. That's what I like. We're going and TV. I told you, not much, not much happening. So we're already going to switch things up too. Dun, 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 dun. Nerd news. One of the coolest things that's just spreading around social media, except people don't do the damn research because everybody's like, "I'm going to this." <laughs> yeah. I hope they can. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah. And uh, third mortgage. Um, okay. So. There is a reunion that's happening, and it's huge if you're a Canadian. It's even huge if you're not Canadian and you like Canadian humor and the best of the best. Bob and Doug are coming back for one night only, and it's a special occasion for a great cause. Uh, uh, it was uh, Dave Thomas's um, nephew. Nephew. So his his brother's his brother's uh, kid uh, got into an accident. And was paralyzed from the waist down, and they're doing a one night only, uh, like a chair, like a fundraiser to go towards uh, his, uh, you know, a recovery and uh, and whatever he needs. So, holy crap, Everybody. did they pull through? Uh, so you got Bob and Doug. Yes, that's right. Rick Baranis is coming yes. out of retirement for this charity, and not just that. You've got some of the best SCTV and Saturday Night Live alumni. Kids in the Hall. And Kids in the Hall. Uh, yeah, three of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, you know what? I have a feeling that there's going to be more than that three by the end of it. I think, yeah. if not four or all, is my guess on that. So you've yeah. got Dan Aykroyd. You've got Martin Short. You've got Catherine O'Hara. You've got uh, Joe Flaherty and Eugene Levy. Yeah. On top of Dave Thomas and Rick Moranis and Dave Foley from Kids in the Hall uh, and um, um, uh, Kevin McDonald and uh, who's the, the last one? Uh, Scott Fo- uh, Scott uh, Thompson. So those guys are going to be they're all confirmed there. Awesome. Great, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's called <laughs> yeah. and it's called Take Off, eh? And, and it's, they, they and called it. There, and I it's think. called yeah. uh, Too Muchy. So let's. It's uh, tickets start at five hundred dollars. VIP tickets start at twenty five hundred dollars. I think what they're wow. doing is the leftover tickets. Oh yeah, that, that's right. That Thank you for is? that. So because yeah, <laughs> the leftovers like there will be any. So let's let's just say every ticket's going to be ca- bought at twenty five hundred dollars or more. Yeah, which is great because as I said, it's going to a it good is. cause. Uh, let's hope they film this. Really got my fingers crossed for them filming this uh, one night only thing. That's yeah. probably going to be amazing for people that appreciate all that classic oh yeah goodness and uh so also good. martin short is also doing a segment as jiminy glick of course he is oh my of god i love it <laughs> yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I god. Like, I love that. <laughs> so funny so that's awesome and uh, and wouldn't be surprised if he puts on the ed grimley as well again oh, i must sure. say yes. um so that's pretty cool so that was a pretty big announcement this week in I would say comedy, you know, North American comedy and Canadian gold. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, we won't. I well, At least I'm not speaking for everybody. I doubt I will know anybody that will go to this. And if they did, then why didn't they take me? <laughs> yes, that's all I got to say. And uh, also just a quick little blip. <laughs> Rub your ducky. You're the one. You yeah. make bath time so much fun. 
but it's also going to be fun in the Thames River, apparently. <laughs> the huge duck. Is it in the Thames? I'm going to assume no. it's in the Thames, isn't it? What other body no. of water do we have in London? It's not coming here. It is, isn't it? Is it? That's what I thought. I it, heard it was coming to Toronto, and then there's no, like a whole list I of places. I think it's, no, I've heard, <gasps> like, it's supposed to do, I don't know if it's set in stone. Oh, my God. But it's supposed to be touring, like, uh, it's because it's, what, uh, it's almost like, it's, <laughs> it's an obscene amount of money. It's yeah. like 100, what, 20 million? I or don't, something. It's, anyway. I don't I, care. It's worth every penny. It looks fun, <laughs> so I, I, uh, let's hope, let's hope that it. It does make it. it they yeah. said it's going to come to a couple of different places, I guess, but oh. it's obviously in Lake Ontario. They're going to be hiking that thing down. But who knows? Wouldn't that be funny if it's down the Thames River? Yes, it, it would be amazing. <laughs> so let's have our fingers crossed that the, the rubber ducky <laughs> that has to happen now. makes his way up the Thames River. But if not, then uh, definitely check online where you can find the the duck because our tax money is paying for it. Yeah, we may so as well see it. So you might as well go see the damn thing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so anyway, that I just thought that was kind of that's definitely nerdy news because yeah, I think it's gonna just be, be more people that are just nerding it up, just like let me go see this I rubber think it's ducky. Fantastic. <laughs> it's so I nerdy. can't wait. <laughs> um. Anyway, that wraps up our show for this week, and uh, sh- let's uh, give our plugs here. Tammy, where can everybody find you? Oh, they can go to our website at uh, www.fanaticsonline.rocks. They can go I, through there. You can find our YouTube, which is just uh, Fanatics Online. Um, yeah, that's where you can go. Yeah, there Facebook, go. everything else. It's yep. Insta, whatever. All good stuff. All good <laughs> stuff. I watch it. It's good. Thanks. I, I, I learn a lot from it. Well, I just, you know, live vicariously through your videos to the <laughs> things I can't go to. Uh, yeah, yeah, so there we go. Thanks. Job well done. Thanks. And Neil, what uh, you got a couple new uh, uh, videos posted? Yes, I will certainly. Uh, once we get back from Niagara Falls Comic Con, I'll certainly have a couple of videos ready to go for that. And uh, yeah, again, uh, the, uh, great footage of Anime North. Uh, to anime, I thought that was great. It was a great introduction and a great explanation on today's show of kind of what it's all about. You know, you almost uh, sold me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm almost. I'm almost you'll there. Go, you'll go. <laughs> Ah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's worth the drive. It is. To the old hideout. So uh, no. No, no. It's not near the old hideout? I don't think so. That's no, not in Acton? No. no. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Everybody remember those commercials? I totally do. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm like, no, did it I make do. its way to your yeah. neck of the woods? Okay. Uh, so that's it for our show this week. And when we come back next week, we're going to have our exclusive review of Wonder Woman and what we thought of it. And also... Niagara Falls Comic Con. What happened? What did we do? What did we get? Who did we see? Who did we meet? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So make sure you stay tuned for that all next week on Pop Cultured on News Talk 1290 CJBK. And as I say every week, y'all out there have been pop cultured. There we go. Pop 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 pop. <laughs>